Hello everybody, in this video I'm going to show you how I plan to flip my classroom by teaching a lesson about grammar. The grammar point is countable and uncountable nouns. So we're going to learn about a, a or an, some or any. So the first rule is we use a or an in front of a singular countable noun. For example, these are countable, a book, a car, an apple, an orange. But uh, we use an with words that begin with a vowel. So, for example, apple, A-E-I-O-U, orange, O, we put a an, not A. But for the two nouns, a book, it's a consonant. A car is a consonant. That's the first rule. So, if it's a consonant, we use a. Let's move on to the next rule. We'll talk about countable nouns. Those are nouns that you can count. Okay, so you can add one or two or three in front of it and have both singular and plural form. For example, you can say a or an in front of a noun such as a tiger, an egg. We can count those. Four apples, two chairs. We can count them. You can even add s here because it's countable. Okay. Now, here's another rule. Un uncountable nouns are nouns that do not have a singular and plural form. So we cannot use a or an. So we have to use the word some or if it's positive and any if it's negative. Let's look at a positive one. Okay. So most countable nouns, these are all uncountable milk is a liquid you can't count it liquids are uncountable okay fish anything like fish or meat or pork uncountable okay candy is uncountable so a glass of milk okay we usually use a container a slice of cake a piece of candy but we can say some milk okay some cake some candy in the negative form will be I don't have so I don't have any milk I don't have any cake I don't have any candy so we use some and any for countable and uncountable nouns some is used in positive statements for making requests any for negative statements these are good examples I have some apples positive I don't have any for negative statements okay do you have any candy? It's a question. So we use any. Yeah. Request. May I, may I have some water? Some is, this is a request. Would you like some pizza? An offer. Would you like some pizza? Would you like some tea? Not, would you like any tea? So I want you to pause the video here and then try to answer these questions of A or an. When you finished, unpause the video and check your answers. Okay, now check your answers. A frog, an orange, that's a vowel, A-E-I-O-U. Next one, an igloo, an igloo, an igloo, vowel, a box, a cat, an egg, a dog, and an axe. There should be an E there, let me correct that now. and an X. So next, pause the video, put some or any to fill in these blanks, then play the video and check your answers. If you're not sure, go back to the rules. Some apples, only oranges, okay? Asking a question, use any. Some, positive. Next one, any, I don't have, he doesn't have any money. Okay, negative statement, Positive statement, question, do they have any bread? I would like some water please, a request, some, and any negative statement, and the dog wants some food. So that's the end, we're going to move on next class, we're going to continue with this topic. What we'll do some speaking in class, you'll work with a partner, you'll plan a party, so you have to buy food. Talk about what ingredients you have in your fridge, okay, what you need 
to buy, for example, sandwiches, what you already have. Here's an example. We need to make some sandwiches. So we need to buy some bread. Do we have any butter? No, we don't have any butter or ham. Okay, let's buy some butter and ham. So you have conversations similar to this. So you can plan it in the classroom. I will walk around and I will help you check the grammar. And then we'll do the speaking activity. So good luck with that.